Today we're going to be going over Don Demis' of Oklahoma's insane offense. The reason why I love his offense so much because he took the fact that he's got a duck under, an inside trip, and he used that, and he built an entire offense around it. This is a definition of chain wrestling, guys. So first, we're going to look at his duck under. His duck under is he hits a regular duck where his knee hits the mat. He hits a high duck where his he doesn't really do it with his lower body. He mostly does it with his upper body. He can even hit this series off a super duck, which we're going to see against All-American Mitch McKee. He's known for his inside trip. He has a very dangerous inside trip. I just posted a video of him doing it against Nick Lee three times in a single match in NCAAs. And then because he has such a dangerous inside trip and everybody knows it, he uses it to set up other moves, such as his outside leg hook series, which he finishes with a head and arm and the over under. He even hits an over under outside trip from there as well. So let's get right into it. This first clip, we're just going to see him hit a duck under. And I highlighted the fact that his opponent is grabbing his wrist because that's going to be important further along in the video. The next two clips, we're going to see him hit a, a high duck. So pay attention to his lower body when he does it. That's why I call it a high duck because he's not dropping his knee to the mat. His opponent also has his wrist in this clip as well. Pay attention to his lower body and his hands. Now the next two clips are gonna go over him hitting the inside trip, just from the inside trip. Now we're gonna go over how he meshes these two together. This is against four-time All-American, two-time national champion, Nick Lee. So we start off with Nick Lee grabbing his wrist. And with his left hand, Demis looks like he's typically utilizing some type of thumb block technique. So he fakes the high duck and then goes right into the inside trip. We're gonna watch him do this again against Nick Lemmix. Let's slow it down and zoom in. So you see Nate Lemmix gets wrist control on that right hand. Don Demis is gonna go high duck. When Nate Lemmix reacts, he goes straight to the inside trip. Now, as we mentioned on the chart, he uses that inside trip. A lot of times his opponent knows they're coming. So watch what he does besides the inside trip. He goes outside leg hook. So Nate Lemmix again gets wrist control, which means he's gonna use a high duck. Demons goes high duck, but he's already done the inside trip. So what does he do this time? Outside leg hook. This is how outside leg hook looks. He ends up getting the pin. Nate Lennox was a three-time state champion in Michigan. But if he's not good enough for you, he also included four-time state champion, Indiana state champion, and four-time All-American, Chad Red of Nebraska. Same as that technique. And this one's a little bit better, not just because of quality of competition, but watch what Chad Red does when Demis hits this move. So as, you, as I pointed out, Chad Red had wrist control. So look at Chad Red pick up his leg. This is a common defense that you would see uh, with guys trying to defend uh, incoming inside trip. So he picks his foot up off the mat, which neutralizes Demis' inside trip. But Demis doesn't only have an inside trip, right? So Demis goes, this is in the first minute of their match, guys. He goes outside leg hook and ends up pinning and winning the Battle of All Americans. Just so you guys can more so see the clear relationship between the inside trip and the outside leg hook, these next two clips are going to show the outside leg hook being directly set up, not just by the threat of the inside trip in, in theory, but actually them is going for the inside trip. Demons goes inside trip. 
He steps up, lay it back. Now, a second Demons even steps his foot up, you can see Michael North, his opponent, doing the same as that thing that Chad Red did by picking his foot up off the mat to neutralize the inside trip. Because everybody knows the inside trip is coming, right? That's why Demons goes outside leg hook. Which, in my opinion, is even more dangerous than the inside trip because he's more likely to get back points from this position than he is the inside trip. Same thing again. This is overtime, guys. It was 1-1 the entire match. So it's not like this is a guy who he's just a lot better than. This is overtime period. He shoots, goes over under, threatens the inside trip. He steps out leg back, goes outside leg hook. Now, you guys know I love moves that you don't have to do 100% perfect in order to hit it because the other guy is also allowed to wrestle. So let's go into it. This clip, first off, I want to point out the fact that he didn't use a duck under. He didn't use a high duck. He used a super duck. So he can use all three variations to set this up. He goes super duck. Now look at his hook. His hook is absolute, absolutely trash, right? This is what he prefers to hook it like. But Mitch McKee is good. He's All-American, right? So Mitch McKee is backing up. And even though he only got his foot on it, he still end up hitting the move. And Don Demons actually ends up losing this match five to three or five to two, something like that, because he ended up getting turned when Mitch McKee was on top. So he's not only hitting his move against guys who he's significantly better than. Now for the last clip we're gonna analyze is him versus All American Kyle Shoop. So Kyle Shoop has his wrist, and he looks like he's utilizing the thumb block with his left hand. That means he's about to go high duck. Now we've seen him go inside trip, and we've seen him go outside leg hook with both a head and arm finish and an over under finish. Now this time he just goes basic traditional outside trip. So guys, he has like four different type of finishes that he can do from this position. And he can score from it by itself. So that's the video today, guys. Um, I really wanted to point this out. I'm gonna do an entire video just focusing on the outside leg hook series that he has because according to Tony Ramos, he can also draw from a cow catcher. So if you didn't see him, didn't watch the Nickley video, go to that. This also goes well with my duck under to a throw video because that shows the traditional duck under to a more traditional head and arm finish. So I feel like everybody can pull from these videos and craft something that works so, more so for you. I'm going to finish out with two clips of Don Demis hitting the high duck to the inside trip and the head and arm outside leg hook in his state finals match. Seven seconds Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.